So if you come into a cross leg seated position or sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit within. Allow your arms to rest onto your thighs and align the back of your skull with your sacrum. Close your eyes and give yourself a moment or two just to allow yourself to settle into your mat. I'm working with the intent today of doing enough. Doing enough, focus up for you, with enough in terms of the breath and in terms of the uh, posture poses that you're moving into. So as you're moving through the poses, if you feel that you're at your limit, then don't feel that you need to push further into that. Maybe stay with that, explore and be curious about what it feels to be working at your edges. So connect now with your breath and then breathe in, experimenting with what feels like enough for you. Allowing the breath to, as you get to the top of the breath, just allow the breath to move through your body, feeling it as it soaks into your cell tissues. And then exhale. And if that last one felt like enough, then breathe in, breathe about the same level, or if you can go deeper, then go deeper and experiment. Relax your chest, and then try to relax through the whole of your body allowing the breath just to connect, connect with yourselves and exhale. Focus on one particular area and then breathe into that area. Holding on to the breath and allowing the breath to soak into the area that you've chosen. Feeling the changes that occur as you're holding the breath here. And exhale. One more breath into the same area that you chose. Deep breath. And exhale. And release. Pranayama today is Kapalabhati breathing in shoelace pose. You're starting with your left foot over your right. Then reach your heels away from you and flex your toes back towards your shin. Hands by hands by hips. So 80 pumps, Kapalabhati breathing. Breathe in. Sharp exhales through the nose, 80 pumps. Hold the breath, keeping the spine long. Hands forward, 
and then exhale. Put the other chin tucks into chest, pull your belly in, pull it in, pull it up. Feel the spreading ribs, spread diaphragm as you hollow your belly out. And release, pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way back up. Change the cross of your leg. Make the pose uh, comfortable for you, hands back by hips. Sharp exhales through the nose. And then breathe in. Hold the breath. And then feel, feel for directing. Using your powerful mind strength to force that you want. And exhale. Exhale completely, tuck the chin to chest and pull your belly in. Keep feeling as if you are hollowing your belly out. And release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way back up. Bring the soles of your feet together for Balakanasana. Flex your toes back towards your shins and bring your hands by your hips. Now breathe in, lift belly, diaphragm, chest. Hold the breath, keeping the chest lifted, spine is long. Then hands forward, off shins and exhale. Exhale completely, tuck the chin to chest and pull your belly in. Your belly pulls all the way back towards the spine and you're lengthening the ribs away from waist. And then breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. Breathing into lower back and lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, folding forward. Breathe into your spot, deep breath. And exhale as you fold. One more breath in, deep breath. And exhale, fold. Please again, come all the way back. Left over your right bend in shoelace. You hand by your right hip and reach the hand about 12 inches away from that hip. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Pressing down into right sit bone. As you breathe in, reach your right arm up and spread fingers. And as you breathe out, you're reaching your right arm over right ear. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Breathe, lift belly. Lift diaphragm. And as you breathe out, you're lengthening that right arm over right ear. 
Breathe into your right side ribs. Deep breath. Feel as if you're opening your intercostal muscles. And as you breathe out, feel for lengthening your right arm. Keep lengthening out of your left side as you reach your right arm over right ear. Second arm position. Show the right, arm, right side. The hand stops about 12. And then soften your right shoulder away from you. And breathe out, softening your shoulders away from your ears. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up and use your left hand to support your head and your neck. And then change. Shoelace with your right foot over your left thigh just above the knee. Bring your right hand by right hip and then reach the hand away from that hip. Feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right hand and lengthen out of right side. Inhale, stretch left arm up, spread fingers. Breathe out, reach over left ear. So your feet are active. Now breathe and lift belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, you're reaching that left arm over left ear. As you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're reaching that left arm up and lengthen it. So your intercostal muscles are opening. On the next breath, breathe in and windmill your left arm down towards the left side. That hand stop 12 inches from floor. And as you breathe out, as you lift your sternum, relax your left shoulder away from your ear. Breathe into the left side of your neck. Deep breath. On the breath, as you on the next breath, press into sit bone and let us back. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders soften. Use your left arm, inhale to pull your body up and use your right in half lotus. So bring your left foot over your right thigh by your hip crease. If you want to strap, you'll be placing a strap around your uh, left foot, bringing the strap. The strap is moving towards your left hip. No, it's not. It's moving towards your right hip. And bring your right hand across your left thigh and your left arm is around the back. That's how you lengthen spine. And as you breathe out, twist to the left. Keep the spine long. And as you breathe out, you twist towards the left. As you breathe in, lift belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the left, feel as if you're moving sides away from your left thigh. One more. more breath in as you breathe out, you're twisting to left. Your left foot over right. Then bring your right hand by your right hip, reach the hand about 12 inches away from that hip. On the next breath, inhale, reach your left arm up. And as you breathe out, the left hand is coming down to the floor. Your left foot presses against your left forearm or tricep. Now breathe in and keep lifting out of your left side. And as you breathe out, you're folding, you're moving sternum towards your left foot, both feet active. Deep breath, lift your belly away from pelvis, lift your sternum. 
and as you breathe out, you're folding towards the left, towards the right. Left sit bone reaches back to full. One more like this. Deep breath. And exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, release, and change. Final twist with your right foot on top of your, in, in, in final twist in half lotus. So your right foot is onto your left thigh. Your right hand comes all the way around the back. It takes hold of the thigh, the foot, or it, you slide the hand into clothing. Inhale, reach your left arm across your right thigh. And as you breathe out, you're twisting towards the right. Now breathe and lift sternum. Keep, keep the length, and as you breathe out, twist to the right. Try to keep the chin aligned with the chest. Press down into sit bone as you breathe in length and spine. And exhale as you twist to the right. Now connect with your spot, connect with your spot, and then breathe there. Deep breath. And breathe out as you're twisting towards the right. Inhale, release. Shoelace pose with your right foot over your left thigh, just above your knee. Feet are active again. You're coming into twist towards your right foot. So left hand is by left hip. Press down into right sit bone. As you're breathing in, you're reaching your right arm is up. And as you breathe out, your right hand comes down towards the floor and your right foot presses against your forearm or tricep. Keep pressing your right sit bone back to floor and breathe in, lengthening your side ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, you're folding towards that left, that right foot, folding over your left thigh. Breathe in and lift your belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're gliding your right thigh out towards the right as you fold towards your right foot. One more breath here, deep breath. And exhale, release. Straighten your, uh, straighten both legs. And from here, you're coming into a uh, side bend with one leg straight. So keep your, uh, your left leg is reaching forward. Your right foot is either tucked in, so the heel is by the groin. Or if you want to go further, bring your right foot back so that the right heel is by your boot. Reach your right hand back, taking hold of the ankle or, or your foot or the fingertips into the floor. Inhale, reach your left arm up and feel for opening through the left side of your body. As you do that, the left hand is down on the inside of your left leg. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. If you're not holding your right ankle with right hand, lift your right arm up and then reach it back. Inhale, lift sternum and move your chest up towards your chin. Keep moving the chest until you feel that opening right across your sternum up towards your collarbone. Keep your chest right shoulder away from right here. Breathe into the right side of your neck. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, relax your left ear to the left shoulder. Breathe into your spot. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're reaching your sit bones back. Pull the belly in and then lengthen sit bones to the floor. Feel this opening into sacrum. On the next breath, as you inhale, stretch your right arm up, up to sky. And as you breathe out, reaching your right arm forward over your right ear. Deep breath, lengthen out of your left side. 
And as you breathe out, you're reaching that left arm forward, but you're reaching your, your right arm is reaching forward, your right sit bones reaches back. Inhale, expand your rib, ribs to feel your lungs as they expand to your armpits. And as you breathe out, folding forward, hands down to the floor. You might be able to take hold of the foot, the ankle, or the calf, or hands to the floor. Now find the ease in the pose. So what is, it, what is the right amount for you? So breathe that in. And as you breathe out, it's allowing your body to melt forward. Your shoulders are softening. Your hamstrings are feeling really tight in this moment and you're bending your left knee. Heels contract to sit bone and you reach forward with the ball of your foot. And then from your pelvic bowl, breathe in and lengthen belly. Keep inhaling as you move your diaphragm to chest. Keep inhaling as you move your chest to chin. Now exhale as you fold. Inhale, release. Push the floor away, breathe in as you come all, all the way back up. And change the cross of your legs. So straighten your, your right foot, lengthen straight forward, right leg is reaching forward. Your left foot is either tucked in, so heels to the groin, or you're bringing your left foot back so that your heel is by your foot. You're moving your thighs away from you, but you shouldn't be feeling this in the knees. So make the adjustment. Feet, the feet are active, both feet are active. Bring your left hand back, take hold of your left ankle. Inhale, reach your right arm up, opening right side knee. As you breathe out, bringing your hand down on the inside of your right leg. Relax your right ear to right shoulder. You're not holding your left ankle with your left hand. Reach your left hand back 12 inches from the floor. Inhale, lengthen out of your right side. So keep lifting your side ribs as if they're coming up into your armpits. And as you breathe out, soften your left, your right shoulder down and relax your right ear with right shoulder. Breathe into the left side of your neck. Deep breath. And exhale, relax your jaw. Breathe into lower back and feel, feel as if you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Now exhale, pull your belly in and feel as if you're reaching your sit bones back. So you feel this opening into your sacrum. On the next breath, as you breathe in, reach your left arm right up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, reach your left arm forward over your left ear. As you breathe in, lift your belly away from your right thigh. And with ease, exhale as you're reaching your left arm forward, reach your sit bones back. As you breathe, expand your ribs. Forward with that left arm. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, fold forward so the hands either side of your front foot, your right foot, or take hold of the foot, the ankle, the calf, or hands to the floor. You'll breathe into your spot, deep breath in, using your breath to energize this area. And exhaling as you fall. Deep breath, inhale. Lead with your chest on the exhale as you fold, both feet still active. Now allow your breath to soak deeply into the area that you're focusing on. And as you breathe out, allow yourself just to relax into the pose, to be luxuriated by the pose. Inhale, release. Push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way back up. And then lie down on your back to start starting your abdominal at uh, sequence. Have a roll close by.
So starting and in elbow to knee, lie down on your back, press your hands behind your head and neck. Lift your feet above the floor unless you're keeping your feet on the floor because of the creepy back. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to the left knee. Now reach your right leg forward, spread the toes. Reach your right big toe away from the ball of your foot. Pull the belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to right knee, straight to the left leg. Relax your left hip. Then reach, reach your big toe forward. As you reach the ball of your foot forward, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to left knee, reach your right leg forward, relax your right hip, and then feel the insides of your right thigh as you reach your right leg forward, pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and reach your elbows to your right knee. Straighten your left leg. Relax your left hip. Reach your left thigh forward away from waist. Pull the lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up and reach your elbows to left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Spread the toes. And then feel as if you're lengthening each toe forward. Pull up lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee, and straight to left leg. Reach your right elbow up. The shoulder blades are off the floor. Curl tailbone up. And then reach your left leg forward. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and your lower back presses the floor. Rogue on. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to left knee. Now reach your right leg straight up towards the sky. Place your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. And as you curl tailbone up, send your right leg straight up. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows to the sky, pull belly in. Keep pulling belly in. Now press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back down to the floor. Now curl elbows up, your elbows are to right knee. Reach your left leg straight up, spread the toes. Place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. And as you curl tailbone up, send your left leg straight up. Ease your right thigh away from your hip. Pull belly in. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. And press your lower back to floor. Inhale. Come back to center. Bend the knees. Hold the breath. And press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale. Curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee. Reach your left leg, reach your right leg straight up. Place your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Bend your right leg straight up. The shoulders away from belly in and press your lower back down to the floor. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to right knee. Reach your left leg straight up, reach out, spread the toes. Place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Put presses against the thigh. And as you, ex as you curl tailbone up, send your left leg straight up. Right thigh eases to the right, opening that hip. Pull belly in. Now lift your chest. Reach your elbows up, pull belly in, and press your lower back down to the floor. 
Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. And then bring the soles of your feet together so the knees are out towards the side. Your feet are active. Your feet are active. The toes are flexed back. Bring your hands onto your thighs, heel of the hands by your hip crease. So they're not on top, they're at the side. You'll be tractioning your thighs away from you. So bring your hands onto your thigh and then breathe in. Feel your ribs as they expand. Feel your chest rises towards your chin with the breath. And exhale completely. Pull your belly in. Now really pull your belly in. Make this feel this is as physical. As your belly pulls in, you'll feel your ribs lengthen. The chest is opening as the chest moves to the chin. Side ribs are opening. You're moving. Exhale, pull your belly in. Now really pull your belly in. You're holding the breath. You're moving your thighs away from you. Using this to help to release into lower back, into hips, into pelvis. Shoulders are soft. And release. Grab hold of your of your roll and place the roll between your thighs and reach your legs up towards the ceiling. Your next pose is a gate opener. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. From here, breathe into lower back, deep breath. Hold the breath. Now exhale. Lift your head and shoulder blades up away from the floor. Squeeze the roll and send your legs straight up towards the ceiling. Reach out with very active feet. Pull belly in. Inhale, place your left arm onto the roll and straddle your legs. And as you breathe out, as you curl the elbow up, you're lengthening your legs out. Lift the chest. Reach your right elbow up. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Squeeze the roll, and then lengthen your legs up. Feel your inner legs are working as you squeeze the roll, as you send your legs straight up, pull the belly in. Inhale, place your right hand onto the roll and then straddle your legs. And as you breathe out, as you curl the elbow up, lengthen your legs out. Press, press your hands down onto the roll and lengthen out. Pull your belly in and press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Squeeze the roll again. And then as you lengthen your legs up, feel as if you're unlocking hips, pull up lower belly in. Inhale, place your left arm onto the roll and straddle your legs. And as you breathe out, as you curl the elbow up, you're lengthening your legs out. Reach out with very active feet. Pull the lower belly in. Inhale, legs together. Hands behind your head. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. 
hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift your head and shoulder blades up away from floor. Squeeze the roll, and then reach your legs straight up. Pull, belly in. If I place your right hand off the roll, and then straddle your legs. And as you breathe out, curl tailbone up and press your hands down onto the roll. You're lengthening your legs out towards the side. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Exhale, bend the knees and place the soles of your feet onto the floor. Keep the roll between your thighs, midway between your pelvic bone and your knees. Ease your heels back so that your heels are now aligned with your sit bones or heels are hip distance apart. Relax your arms down by your side. Reach those, bridge with the roll. Breathe in, left and spine, moving belly away from pelvis. Exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up away from the floor. Reach stretches. Reach both hands up towards the sky. Then take hold of the little finger on your right hand. Deep breath, inhale into palm of hands. And as you breathe that, open the palm of your right hand up towards the sky. You're gliding your little finger back. And release, taking hold of your ring finger. As you, as you breathe in, feel as if you're reaching your arm down, opening into your right shoulder. And as you breathe that, glide as you open your finger back. Fingers are spreading. Release, taking hold of your middle finger. As you breathe in, lengthen your belly away from your pelvis. And as you breathe out, as you push the floor away, open your heel of the hands to the sky, spreading the fingers. Taking hold of your first finger. As you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. As you lengthen your index finger down away from hands. And as you breathe out, reach your thumb away from your index finger. And release, taking hold of your thumb. As you breathe in, glide your thumb back. Thumb is coming towards your right shoulder. And as you breathe out, reach your fingers away from you as your top elbow is lifting up. Then release, change hands. Take hold of the little finger on your left hand and then ease it back. And then breathe in deeply. And as you breathe out, open your hands to sky. Release, taking hold of your ring finger. As you breathe in, lengthen your ring finger down away from hands. And as you breathe out, as you push the floor away, lift up and spread fingers. Take hold of your middle finger. Breathe in and lengthen, ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, push the floor away as you open your hands to the sky. Release, take hold of your first finger. And deep breath, spread each finger away from each other. And exhale, push the floor away. Use your strong legs to push the floor away. Fingers are spreading. Take hold of your thumb. As you begin, you're gliding your thumb away from your index finger. And as you breathe out, lengthen sit bones towards your calves as you reach the heel of the hands to sky. And release. Bring your hands back behind you. Fingers are pointing towards your, your hips and the palm of the hands are facing in the opposite direction away from you. Now breathe in. Deeply into the palm of hands. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're pushing the floor away. It's like you're reaching your elbows up towards the sky and spread the fingers. One more like this, deep breath. And as you breathe out, feel for pushing the floor away as if you're coming up into, into wheel. Release, bring your hands back down by your side. 
and then breathe in, telescoping ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis lower your upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis lower mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis as you lower all the way down to the floor. Place your, so keep your right foot down onto the floor, lift your left leg up and then bring it over your right thigh. Reach out with your heels and flex your toes back towards your shin. From here, bring your left hand onto your left thigh and you're traction your thigh away from you. Your right hand is onto right thigh. Keep neck and shoulders relaxed. And then breathe deeply into lower back. And as you breathe out, traction your left thigh away from you. Your belly pulls in. Feels as if you're moving your side ribs away. Your side ribs and lower ribs away from your left thigh. Feet are active. And again, relax your lower back and breathe there. Breathe into lower back. And as you breathe out, you're tractioning your left thigh away from you. You can also traction the right thigh, but you feel this more into your thigh and your left hip. One more here, deep breath. And exhale, traction away. Keep pressing your right foot to the floor. Keep gliding your left thigh away from left hip. And then release. Release your left foot, place your left foot back down onto the floor. Lift your right foot up, hook your foot over your left thigh. Flex your toes back towards the shins and reach your heel away from you. Right hand is onto right thigh by hip crease. And then breathe in deeply, spreading the ribs to the floor. And as you breathe out, you're tractioning your right thigh out towards the right, going in the same direction of the thigh and knee. And then breathe in, fill yourself up with this breath. And as you breathe out, that right thigh away. Be active, reach your heels away from you. One more like this, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're moving that right thigh out. And then inhale, release. Make sure uh, right foot back down onto the floor, both feet onto the floor. From here, roll to your right side and bring your left hand down by your chest. Breathe in. And as you breathe, push the floor away as you come on up. Come on to knees for your next pose. Actually, before you do your next pose, come into, come into embryo. I want to get you to open the back of your back of your thighs, hamstrings, and calves. Come into embryo. Relax your arms down by your side, relax your forehead to the floor. That's a difficult reach, and you have a block. You can have your forehead relaxing onto a block. And then breathe into your lower back, deep breath. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in, feel as if you're reaching your sit bones back. And then as you breathe into your lower back, gently feel as if you're lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in a little bit more, You'll feel your side ribs opening. And then breathe in, feel as if you're moving your belly away from pelvis. Exhale, pull belly in and left and sit bones back. Two more breaths like this. As you breathe in, feel your back ribs as they expand. Feel them opening wide towards your armpit. And as you breathe out, lengthen back. Sit bones are reaching to heels. 
One more like this. Deep breath. And exhale. Is your hands under the shoulders? Push the floor away as you're coming up. Hindu bird wing. So you're sitting down onto your heels. Tuck your elbows into the side wing. Lift the chest. And then inhale, you draw your hands together. Exhale, lift your chest and then open your arms out towards the side. Inhale. And then exhale. As you lift your chest, you open your arms out towards the side. Reach your arms. Two more. Inhale. And as you exhale, lifting up and then open your arms out. Spread the fingers. One more. Breathing. And as you exhale, you open it back. Then release. Your next pose is dolphin. So you have dolphin, uh, both feet onto the floor, five breaths. So up to five breaths. If you can go further, then from dolphin, you'll come into, I'll demonstrate that pose. From dolphin, you'll come into Dolphin strut. So in your dolphin strut, your hands are onto your biceps. You're in dolphin, you reach your hands forward. You inhale, exhale, you're coming up into dolphin. For your dolphin strut, if you step your right foot forward in this instance, a couple of inches, two to three inches, you're reaching your right hand back and taking hold of the foot, the ankle, the calf. You stay here as you breathe in. As you breathe out, you're reaching your right heel away from you. If you can go further, then you're lifting your left foot up and reaching it back into dolphin. You stay here for three to five breaths. The foot comes down, then you come on down and change. Coming back into dolphin, stepping your left foot in, Reaching your left hand back, taking hold of the, the heel, the ankle, the calf. And once you're there, you can stay here for three to five breaths. Or if you want to go further, you can lift your right leg up and reach it back. Stay here for three to four breaths. The foot comes down, hands come back to the floor, bend the knees, and you're coming down. Dolphin, everyone do dolphin, up to five breaths. Once you've done that, if you want to go further, then do flat, do dolphin strut. If you don't want to work into dolphin strut, you can come down by the hands and then do dolphin one leg up, up to five breaths, three to five breaths on one side, then foot comes down, three to five breaths on the other side. Okay, so choose the pose that is right for you and work with where you are today. Hands on to biceps if you haven't done already, elbows to the floor. Reach your hands forward, spread the fingers. Keep the elbows tucked in. Breathe into upper back, lift, spread back, curl toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor, and then lengthen the spine as you move your chest back to side fingers. And then breathe in deeply, spreading the ribs. And as you breathe out, push back, moving chest to thighs and knees, but keep the neck relaxed. Feel the love of your heart, deep breath, feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. Now push the floor away, use the heel of the hands, push the floor away as you reach back. Breathe in and broaden the upper back with your breath. One more like this, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're reaching back. You're up leveling, 
if you're working with dolphin strut, bring set your right foot in about two to three inches. Reach your right hand back, take hold of the heel, the ankle, the calf of the foot. And then breathe into that right hip. And as you breathe out, reaching your heel to the floor. If you're working with one leg up, anchor into your right leg, breathe in, lift your left leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back, spread the toe. Breathe into left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're sending that left leg back and away from you. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, lower your left foot to the floor. If you're not in strut, anchor into your left leg, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back. If you're working for strut, reaching your left hand back, taking hold of the heel, the ankle, or the or the calm. Inhale. And as you breathe out, reaching your left heel to floor. If you want to go further, you anchor into left foot, breathing in, lifting your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back. Breathe into your right hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, keep sending that right leg back. One more breath in, deep breath. And reach your right leg away from you. Lower your right foot to the floor. Bend the knees and come all the way down. From here, come to stand at the front of your mat. into your salutation so you're standing with your uh, feet together bring your hands together at your chest press your feet to floor and as you breathe in you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky now lift your chest and lift your back forward exhale fold forward keep the length of the spine as you fold forward hands to the floor inhale step your left leg back bend your left knee face your left knee to the floor push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky and as you breathe out, hands are down. Step your right leg back for plank. Now reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, bend the knees and lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. Once you're all the way down, bring your hands under the shoulders and then breathe in. Lengthen belly away from pelvis. Lengthen your legs back and tuck your sit bones down to heels. And as you breathe out, lower down and press it back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing to away in downward dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands for lunge. Your right knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands are down. Step your right leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand. Lengthen through the spine as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. As you breathe out, hands together at you. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, you're sweeping your arms up towards the sky. Fingers are spreading, shoulders are down. And as you breathe out, folding forward, belly's in. Keep the neck relaxed. And as you press your feet to the floor, breathe in, move your chest and reach forward. So you feel this lengthening through the spine. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. Inhale, cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Feel your inner thighs, inner ankles as if they're squeezing toward each other. And as you breathe out, lower down. Hands under the shoulders. Breathe into lower back. Curl toes under. And as you breathe out, press it back into downward facing dog. Feel the lengthening through the spine as you reach back. Warrior one, breathe in. Step in your left foot forward by your left hand. Right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Turn the right foot forward at 45 degrees angle. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands are down and step back with your left leg for plank and reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping the elbows tucking in. 
breathe into, uh, actually bring your hands forward about 10 inches for low cobra. You'll stay in low cobra for a few breaths. So as you lengthen your legs back, breathe in and then lift your chest. Move your chest forward. Feel as if you're drawing your elbows back towards your hips and keep moving sternum forward. Let your shoulders be soft. Now breathe again and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, sit bones reaches to heel. Feel as if you're pressing lower down onto pubic bone and then breathe and lift belly, diaphragm, chest. And exhale, release, lower down. Your hands under the shoulders, breathe into lower back, curl toes under. And as you breathe out, press it back for downward facing dog. Feeling for the lengthening through the spine as you reach it back. Sit bones reach back. Warrior one, breathe in. Step your right foot forward by your right hand. Left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Turn your left foot forward to 45 degrees angle. Push it your way as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Lift your sternum as you reach your arms up, but keep the neck relaxed. Exhale, hands down. Step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Let your shoulders soften down away from your ears, and then relax, shoulders down, lengthen your legs back. Exhale, release, lower down, hands are under the shoulders, breathe into lower back, curl toes under. Exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing through away in downward dog. On the breath, inhale, bend the knees a step or hop your legs between the hands. And as you breathe out, fold it forward, lengthen through the spine. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, you sweeping your arms up, lift your chest, and reach your sit bones back. And as you breathe out, stand and bring your hands together at chest. Press your feet to the floor, and as you breathe in, reach your arms up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, fold it forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back. Bend your right knee, place your right knee to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands down, step in your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Squeeze your elbows in, soften the shoulders down. Exhale, release, slow down, curl your toes under, press it back for downward facing dog. Lunge, breathe in, step, your right leg forward between the hands, your left knee to the floor, push the floor away, as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands are down. Step your left foot forward for forward bend. Keep the neck relaxed. As you breathe in, keep the hands to the floor, but lengthen belly away from pelvis. Pull your belly in, exhaling as you fold. Chair pose, no, inhale, stand. Push the floor away as you stand up. And exhale, hands together at chest. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, you're sweeping your arms up, lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move your chest forward away from thighs and knees. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down and keep the elbows tucking in. Breathe into cobra, move chest and reach forward as you lengthen your legs back. And as you exhale, press it back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. Tread your feet out a couple of times in downward dog. So feel as if you're stretching out the calves, your hamstrings, and your Achilles tendons. Then breathe in, step your left foot forward for warrior one. Right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away. As you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands are down. Step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down. 
Then breathe into upward facing dog. Tops of the feet are on the floor. Move your chest and reach forward. Lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press it back to downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing through weight in downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in. Step your right foot forward by your right hand. Left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands down. Step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Upward dog, breathe in. As you move your chest down, reach forward. You're lengthening your legs back. Reach your elbows back to hips. And as you breathe out, press back for downward facing dog. Now lengthen the spine. Reach your sit bones up, reach them back. On the next breath, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward, lengthen through the spine. Chair pose, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, you're reaching your arms up. Lift your chest, but send your sit bones back. And exhale, stand and bring your hands together at chest. So give yourself a moment now and noticing how you feel. You have the next, your next post now is split, uh, splits against the wall. So you do this in four, uh, in handstand, uh, not handstand, you do this in downward dog against the wall. So it splits. You will be doing effectively this pose. So keeping one foot on the wall, your other foot is reaching straight up. Then if you can go further, you're coming onto the ball of the foot of the foot that's on the wall, and your other foot is reaching over your head. You're moving your chest closer to the wall. In this way, keep pushing the floor away so you're not dumping the weight into shoulders. Three breaths, foot comes back onto the wall, the other foot goes up, and then you're reaching, moving chest to the wall, sending that leg straight up, and if you can, bring it over your head. Three breaths, and then step down. Okay. If you're not, able or you, you don't fancy that today then you do you can do the pose on the on the floor with both hands onto the floor coming into downward facing dog on the floor in this way you step your right foot in slightly lifting your left leg up and then reaching it back and if you do have a wall you can put the foot that's going in the air onto the wall and then reach it back if you're really nice opening into your hamstrings gives you a length, a great lengthening through the spine. So you can do that in terms of your foot on the floor. Again, three breaths, one foot on the floor, the other leg lengthening back. Again, never see a pose as a down level or a necessarily an up level. Do the poses that's right for you. Nice. Wrap the shoulders a little bit Paulus, close your elbows, like squeeze in as if, you, yeah, yeah, now relax your neck, relax your neck. Look to the wall a little bit, more. yeah. Now squeeze your elbows towards each other. In your armpit, yeah. Keep squeezing them in, keep squeezing, yeah. So you feel the opening through the back. Good, keep pushing the floor away. Nice, really nice, Barbara. Really nice and strong. The leg that's reaching straight up, keep sending it up. Reach out with the balls of your feet. That's it. Pull your belly in and move your chest to the wall a little bit more. Beautiful, really nice. Keep the jaw relaxed, neck is relaxed. Manny, chest to the wall if you can. Move your chest in a little bit more. Wrap the shoulder, squeeze your elbows in, Paula. Elbows in, elbows in. Neck relaxed, <laughs> keep your neck relaxed. Keep looking at the wall. The neck is long. Good. The foot that's on the wall, Mario, should be lower. Bring it down. Yeah. Yeah. Now stretch the foot that's away from the wall. Stretch it up. That's it.
And once you're all done, come into downward facing dog on the floor. Once you've done your the, the, the signs. From downward facing dog, so everyone back down onto downward facing dog onto the floor. From here, as you breathe in, glide your body forward for plank, high plank. And as you breathe out, bend the elbows, coming down. And then breathe into cobra, move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, press it back for downward facing dog, feeling for pushing through a weight in your downward dog. Your next pose is triangle. So breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Line up your front heel, your left heel with the arc of your right foot. Feet about three and a half feet away from each other, and you're reaching your arms out towards the sun. As you press down into your left leg, breathe in, and you're lengthening your left arm forward. Your left arm comes down towards the floor, and your right arm is reaching up towards the sky. You can place that left arm onto the floor, the ankle, the calf, or onto a block. So focus on lengthening your left side ribs away from left hip. And breathe in. Glide your left side ribs away from that left hip. And as you breathe out, as you press down into your left leg, reaching your right fingertips to the sky. Press your right foot to the floor, and then breathe in. Move your belly down from chest. Feel your chest moving to chin. And as you breathe out, lengthening the fingertips of the right hand up to stand. Deep breath in, lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, opening up and reach the fingertips up to stand. Place your right hand onto your right hip. Bend your left knee. Place your left hand onto the floor. Coming into half moon. So from here, as you breathe in, step your right leg forward, lift your right foot off the floor, and then reach it back. Reach out with your right heel. If you're going further, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Press down into your left foot, and then breathe in. Lift your left ribs. Lift the weight of your body away from your left thigh. And as you breathe out, reach your right heel away from you. Feel as if you're unlocking the hip. Now breathe in and move your belly forward away from pelvis. Move your chest to chin. And as you breathe out, reach up with the fingertips of your right hand. One more breath like this. Deep breath. And exhale, release. Bring your hands down onto the floor and then step your right leg back for warrior two. From here, hands to the floor, bring your left hand, left forearm is onto your left thigh. Reach your right arm up and then reach it all the way around the back, tucking it onto your left thigh by your hip crease. Extended warrior variation. Pressing down into your uh, left foot and breathe and lift your ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder back away from left ear. Breathe in, bring your chest towards your chin. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder away from right ear. Now breathe and breathe into lower back as you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, send your left sit bone back, but keep moving chest forward. One more breath like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Bring your hands down, so the hands either side of your uh, left foot. Step your left leg back to the plank. Then reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucking in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, lower down, hands are under the shoulders and press it back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing through a way in your downward dog. Triangle, inhale, step your right foot forward between the hands. Your right heel is aligned with the arc of the back foot, left foot. Left foot is spread to the short edge of the mat. Your arms are reaching out. Your feet are three feet away from each other. Press into your right leg. And as you breathe in, bringing your uh, right arm down as you reach your left arm up to the skull. 
keep creating distance between the top of your thigh and your ribs. Now breathe in and feel as if you're lifting out of your right side. And as you breathe out, slightly roll your chest open as you reach your left fingertips up towards the sky. Press into your left leg and then breathe in lengthen. So feel this right from your hips, belly diaphragm, chest is moving away from that left hip. And as you breathe out, lengthening up with your left fingertips. Now breathe into lower back as you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, reach, reaching up with the fingertips of left hand. On the next breath, place your left hand onto hip or sacrum. Bend your right knee. Bring your right hand onto the floor, 12 inches forward, six inches towards the right side. Then inhale, glide forward, lift your left foot off the floor, and reach back into left heel. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in as you reach that left heel away from you. On the next breath, as you breathe in, lift your side, you know, the weight, lift the weight of your body away from your right thigh. And as you breathe out, reaching your left fingertips up towards the sky. Breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones back towards your left heel. Deep breath, breathe into heart as you move your chest forward to chin. And as you breathe out, keep sending that left heel back and away from you. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down onto the floor and step your left leg back for warrior two. Your left foot is back to the floor and your front heel is aligned with the arc of the back foot. Place your right forearm onto your right thigh. Bring your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh. Now feel you're lengthening out as you press the right foot. You're lifting your ribs away from that hip. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder away from right hip. Breathe in and move belly forward away from pelvis. Keep moving your belly forward and then move your chest. Chest is moving to chin. And as you breathe out, relax your left shoulder away from left ear. You can go deeper into the pose by gliding your right thigh forward and then lifting away from your right thigh. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're sending your right sit bone down towards your right heel. Now breathe in and lift, lift sternum. So feel that you're exaggerating as you lift your sternum up. And exhale, relax your right ear to right shoulder. Breathe into the left side of your neck, deep breath. And as you breathe out, your shoulders down. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your right foot and place your left knee down to the floor. Your next pose is, a, is against the wall. You have the... So you do this pose, we'll do uh, vertical splits against the wall. So that's where you're going with this. So in your vertical splits against the wall, you are you're starting with your feet uh, up against the wall and your hands are down into, onto the floor as you would for downward facing dog. You step in one foot up onto the wall and you're reaching that leg straight up. You curl the toes under the foot that's on the wall. And then you stay here, five breaths. Keep pushing the floor away, keep moving chest towards the wall. So that's the pose that you're going in. Five breaths on each side. The other foot, you switch and you come in. If that's not a pose that you are wanting to do today, then do splits on the floor. So that, those will be the options. Splits on the floor or splits on the wall. Really working deep into hips, nice. Good. 
and just breathe into where you're feeling this, using this to help to open into the hips. Taking it as deep as you can into the pose. Keep feeling for pushing the floor away with the foot that's on the floor and you're moving your chest. So here's a tip when you're breathing in, keep moving your belly away from your thighs. And it helps to open into sacrum a little bit more. Deep breaths. Good. Nice little window. Nice Mario. Up to five breaths on each side. Feeling the back of your hamstrings are opening up into this pose. When you've done, come down in, once you've done both sides, come down into downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, as you breathe in, Slide forward into plank. Now feel for pushing floor away in your plank. Stay here. Now reach your heels away from you. And feel your inner thighs and inner ankles as they're reaching towards each other. Squeeze your elbows in. Now from here, reach your, el your elbows back towards your hips and then reach back so your body's in a one straight line. Breathe in. And as you exhale, reach your heels back and lower to about six inches and hold. Keep moving your chest forward. Now pull your belly in and reach your heels away from you. Breathe in. And exhale, lower two inches and hold. Reach your heels away from you. Tuck your elbows in and reach your elbows back to hips. Breathe in. And exhale, lower another two inches. Keep your elbows tucking in, reaching your heels back. Breathe in. And exhale, release and lower down. From here, bring your hands forward about 10 inches. Anchor, so you're pressing, you're spreading the fingers and hands up to the floor. So the hands are really spread to the floor. And your feet to the floor, the tops of the thighs to the floor, and then breathe in, move your belly forward, move your chest forward. Keep moving your chest through your arms. And as you exhale, reach your elbows back towards your hips and soften the shoulders. As you breathe in, lengthen your ribs away from sacrum. Upper ribs, uh, mid ribs away from your lower ribs and your upper ribs away from your uh, mid ribs. And as you breathe out, Send your sit bones down to heels as you lengthen your legs away from you. Last one like this, breathe in and move belly. Feel the belly opens up. Exhale, release, lower down. Bring your hands back under the shoulders and breathe into lower back, curling toes under. As you breathe out, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog. On the next breath, as you breathe in, uh, lounge, lounge. So breathe in, step your left foot forward and place your right knee to the floor. Bring your left, your right hand forward about 10 inches ahead of the shoulder. Use your left hand to scratch your left thigh forward. As you breathe in, you lengthen through the right side of your body. As you breathe out, twist. Your side ribs are coming to the inside of your left thigh. Breathe in, keep moving chest forward. And as you breathe out, you're opening out as your chest comes closer to inside of right thigh, left thigh. Breathe into lower back and feel your lengthening ribs away from sacrum. If you place your left hand onto the sacrum and then track away, lengthening away, feel as if you're, you're Hand is tucked in your sit bones back. It's like you're reaching it back away from you. And as you press into your left foot, you twist closer to the left thigh. Last one here, deep breath. And exhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your left foot. Get your left foot back about three inches for twisting lunge. 
Left hand is onto the left thigh. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And as you breathe out, bring your right elbow over your left thigh. You make a fist with your right hand. Left hand is on top. Press into your right shin and breathe in, lengthening the ribs on your right side. And as you breathe out, twist to the left. Relax your right ear with right shoulder. And then breathe in and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, as you twist towards the right, send your, twist to the left, send your left sit bone back. Relax your jaw and breathe into your spot, deep breath. And as you breathe out, opening out towards the left. Inhale, release. Pigeon, bring your left foot towards the right edge of the mat. Your hands are under the shoulders. Your feet are active and you're reaching your right leg straight back. From here, as you breathe in, keep lifting belly and traction belly away from your left thigh. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward, coming down as flat as you can. So breathe into lower back, deep breath. And exhale as you fold, bellies in. As you breathe in, expanding your ribs as wide as you can. And exhaling as you fold. One more breath in, deep breath. Folding on exhale. Inhale, release. Walk your hands back so the hands are under the shoulders. Curl the toes under of your right foot. Lift your right knee off the floor. Step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heel. And as you exhale, lower down, keeping the elbows tucking in. Breathe into cobra, moving chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, press it back for downward facing dog. Feeling the push and flow away in your downward dog. Lounge, lunge. Breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands. Place your left knee to the floor. Bring your left hand forward about 10 inches, 12 inches ahead of the shoulder. Use your right hand to traction your right thigh forward. Press it back into your left foot and breathe in, lengthen through the left side of the body. And as you breathe out, you're twisting your left side ribs to the inside of your right thigh. Press down with the inside of your right foot. And then breathe in, move your belly forward away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, your sternum moves towards your right thigh. Your right sit bone is reaching down. Use your left hand to tuck your sacrum down. And then breathe in as you press into your right foot, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, as you twist towards the right, keep sending your sit bones back and down. Breathe to sternum as you move your chest to chin. And as you breathe out, keep sending that left leg back as you twist to the right. Inhale, release. Twisting lunge. Bring your right foot back slightly, about two to three inches. Place your right hand onto the right side. And as you breathe in, stretch your left arm up, opening the side muscles. And as you breathe out, your left elbow is over your right thigh. Make a fist with left hand, right hand is on top. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Press into your left shin. And then breathe in, lengthen out of your left side. And as you breathe out, you twist to the right. Press down into your right foot. Feel the insides of that right foot is really connecting with the floor. And then breathe in and move belly away from pelvis. Your diaphragm might lift slightly. Now exhale, twist to the right and glide your right sit bone back. Breathe into your spot, deep breath. And as you breathe out, feeling for easing 
into the pose as you let your shoulders soften. One more breath, deep breath. Twist, twist to the right or exhale. Inhale, release. Pigeon, your hands are under the shoulders. Step your uh, right foot, bring your right foot towards the left edge of the mat. Bend your left leg straight back and then hands under the shoulders. Bring it down into pelvis, breathing, lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. Pull belly in, exhaling as you're folding forward over your right shin. Keep feet active, both feet are active. And then feel this, breathing into your lower back, breathing to where you feel this most. And as you breathe out, taking it a little deeper. Breathe into sternum, deep breath. And exhaling as you fall. Deep breath, expanding your ribs out to the side. And exhale. One more breath, deep breath. Exhaling, release. Hands are under the shoulders. Curl the toes under of your left foot. Step back into downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. From here, walk your feet forward towards your hands. And then once your feet reaches your hands, clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Your jawbone, your elbows are tucking, your forearms tucking onto your jawbone for neck traction. Press your feet to the floor, and as you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. Really pull your belly in, exhale, as you reach your elbows to the floor. Really pull your belly in to protect your back. And breathe into belly, moving belly away from pelvis. And exhale as you go a little bit deep. One more breath in, deep breath. And exhale. Inhale, release, hands to the floor. And then coming down into a seated position. We're so coming into a spinal, a spinal twist, lying down, spinal twist uh, on your back. So you'll be lying down on your back. You bend your left knee whilst lengthening your right leg away from you. You lift your left leg up, you bring your Right hand down on the outside of your left thigh or, or, or calf. You breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're drawing your left knee towards your right hip. And maybe you get closer towards your right armpit. Really doesn't matter whether the knee comes all the way down. If you have a block, you can, uh, a block or a roll. And you, if your foot doesn't come all the way down, I'm sorry, if your knee doesn't come all the way down, just allow yourself to allow the thigh to rest onto the block. Head is in the opposite direction to your left knee. And then breathe. Breathe into your lower back. And as you breathe out, relax your left shoulder away from your left knee. Deep breath. Inhale. Belly moves away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, feeling for that release as you let go. Deep breaths. And exhaling, letting go a little bit more. Taking two more breaths into where you feel you need this most and giving yourself the right dosage for you. Then release your right arm down towards the right, press both arms to the floor, and as you breathe in, 
draw your left knee back to center and place your left foot down onto the floor. Lengthen your left leg away from you. Bend your right knee. Bring your left hand around on the outside of your uh, right leg. Lift your right leg off the floor. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're bringing your right knee across towards your right knee comes down towards your left hip or closer towards your left armpit. Head is in the opposite direction to me. And then breathe into your lower back. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, relax your right ear away from your right shoulder. Don't force this. If, as your back releases, as your belly opens, your knee, your right knee will come closer to the floor. So breathe into where you feel this. And notice if you're feeling any kind of obstruction. And as you breathe out, allow your body to let go a little bit more. Keep feet active. And breathe in, feel as if you're lengthening your belly away from your right thigh. And then be connected, connect with your body so you're able to work with when your body releases, you, you let go a little bit more. Breathe into the sternum, deep breath. As you breathe out, let your knee come closer to the floor if it's working for you today. One more breath into your spot, deep breath. Press both arms to the floor. And as you breathe in, draw your right knee back to center. Place your right foot to the floor and then lengthen your legs away from you. Relax your arms down by your side and relax the shoulders away from your ears in your final pose, Shavasana. Allow your body to completely uh, relax. So close your eyes. Eyes are closed, relax your forehead and relax the back of your skull. So give yourself time. Relax your nose, relax your cheekbones. A good time to open your mouth and moving jaw from side to side. And then relax your neck. And let your shoulders be soft. Shoulders softening down. Relax your collarbones. And let go of your upper back. Relax your mid back. Feel your mid back as it spreads to the floor. Relax your diaphragm and relax your belly. And as you do that, you feel the opening into low back. So let your low back relax and you feel how it gets closer to the floor. Slightly tucked elbows as if you're sending sit bones to heels. And then relax your pelvis. Relax your thighs, top of your thighs, and relax your hamstrings. Feeling the opening into hips, into pelvis. And allow yourself just to let go a little bit more. Relax the side of your knees, relax the back of your knees, and relax your knees. Relax your shins, relax your calves, and relax your ankles.
Feel as if you're reaching your heels away from you. You may your calves may lift away from the floor, but lengthen heels away from you and then let go. Let your body come back into its own equilibrium as you let go. Let your feet relax and relax your toes. And then notice, so give yourself time between your breaths and time between your poses, just to notice what happens for you. And making it a part of your own process to track the changes that are occurring. And this really helps with your, your motivation in terms of the sensitivity, increasing your levels of sensitivity so that you are very aware of what is going on for you. It becomes almost a part of another uh, uh, defense as a, like a radar because you're so connected with yourself, you're able to track those changes as to what's going on. Relax your arms. Relax your triceps and biceps. And relax your elbows. Relax your forearms, your wrists and hands. Relax your fingers. Now still your mind. And let go. So not using this time to reflect or to go over what you've done in your practice or over the day. And not using this time to think about or plan what you're about to do. Just try very hard to be in this moment. But if it stresses you, then come back from that. It's not intended to stress you. It's more intent. The intent here is really to bring you very much aware of the facets of mind and how the mind moves, and how your body moves. It's helping you to be aware of what is what are your habits. Like lying down into your space, into your bed, and finding that you're still there several hours later, unable to find the peace, to find the rest. So beginning to practice that time of stilling the mind, stilling the body. It's not to say that all of the issues, all of the problems and difficulties will go away, but allow yourself time to let them go for a moment so that you get the rest, you get the peace that you need. You, you recover yourself more able to deal with some of those issues that are around. When we become overwhelmed, it becomes very difficult to see and to face and to deal with issues because we don't have that sense of clarity in order to deal with something. So give yourself this time, this precious time. Begin to move your fingertips and move the tips of your toes. Connect with your breath and breathing in what is the right dosage for you now. When you exhale, exhale completely. 
but you're not leaving anything there. It's a bit like the story we say, uh, I'm just holding on to something, let it go. So you get, you experience that cleansing and then breathe in, taking in this wonderful life energy into your body, allowing it to soak into cell tissues. When you exhale again, let it go, let go completely. So you're not holding anything back. If you let it go, you're getting deeper into that, that sense of cleansing. And that's part of what you're doing with your breath. Breathing. Feeling for taking your breath to those deeper places and the places that try to almost like the hidden spaces. And exhaling. On your next breath, stretch in a way that feels good for you. And whilst you're doing this, you know, this is the uh, conversation that you're having uh, with yourself, not a distracting, but a very focused conversation in terms of what do I need now? You know, what is the stretch? that my body really needs? What is the stretch that delights me, that delights my body? And making a commitment to be responsive to what your body needs, feeding yourself what your body needs. Once you've had a really good stretch, roll to your uh, left side towards your heart center. Bring your right hand by your chest, breathe in. And push the floor away and exhale with your right hand as you come up and left hand supports your head and neck. Come into a seated position. Sit tall and bring your hands together so the thumbs are lightly touching sternum, feeling the beat of your own heart. All that is honorable, all that is good in me, salutes all that is honorable and all that is good in you. We're finishing together with the breath. A deep, deep breath. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.